you for 2024 here on at the Yaba Entertainment Projectors booth. And I'm speaking to Marshall. Marshall, yeah, of course I know your name. <laughs> what was the inspiration for your company and your idea? Yeah, I think uh, there are a couple of reasons. One is that we do the we do see the trend of a big screen needs mm -hmm. in the market. In 2018, we, uh, actually we leveraged a term to describe how popular is the this kind of the projector. In 2008, uh, which is the adoption rate, we leveraged the shipment number of projector to divide the shipment number of television. In 2018, the adoption rate is only 5%, and only after three years, the adoption rate increased to 21%, which means that the, pop, uh, the projector category is getting more and more popular in Chinese market. And we also checked the standards in all six countries inside, uh, outside of China. Currently, it's only 4%. And we believe uh, why some more affordable products like our LCD technology is getting more strong in the entry level and the media level, the adoption rate will get up quickly. What would be duplicate the success in the Chinese market? And meanwhile, we do think that compared to the screen, compared to the uh, television, the projector shows a lot of uh, advantages. Yeah, for example, if you have a television, you can just uh, put there in your living room, right? Okay. You cannot carry it from the uh, room to room or even carry it outside. But for projector, you can easily to take it no matter from your living room to bedroom or even carry it with your friends to outdoor for events, for parties. Yeah, I wouldn't say that projector would be the first to, to take the place of the first television in user's home because the practice is a practice. People tend to have television in their living room. But why not to be the second one, right? You could have a, your second television in the projector form in your living room or something you can carry outside with your friends in the yard in the outdoor events. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and we totally believe that uh, the lifestyle of the people will change, right? The uh, fashion will change. In the outdoor, uh, in, in the past, people might said they think that they must have a television. But right. moving forward, why not? They could leverage some other form factor to take the television position. Yeah, that's uh, our expectation and vision in this category and why we choose the project. All right, so at Eva, you introduced the Keith Herring project. Yeah. Why did you choose Keith Herring? Yeah, so uh, as you know, that's Yammer and ourselves as uh, a new brand that's more energetic and innovation, right? So we don't want to put ourselves as a old fashion, very funky stuff in the, in the home, right? In living room, in bedroom. We want that the people to thinking about Yammer that it's not only a projector, but it's also a, a, a lifestyle, right? right? So we cooperate with JBL, we cooperate with Cascari. Why we choose JBL? Because JBL is not only a speaker. They stand for the spirit of innovation, creative, right? Open mind. That spirit more aligned with Yammer's spirit. And Cascari is also another example. We don't want people thinking about projector as only a technology product. Right. Right? His carry shows more like the pop culture, right? We want to make a blend of the everyday uh, entertainment together with the high-tech innovation technology, right? The, when people carry this out, right? It's not only about the, the speaker, it's also about his attitude about life. Yeah. Very good. Segway, we talk segwaying into JBL and yep. sound. Projectors, normally I don't associate good sound quality with projectors, but you guys are working with JBL now. Yep. So walk me through the technique, the sound quality, and the techniques you're using for better sound quality for your projectors. Yeah. So why we talk about the category of projection, we're always talking about cinematic experience, right? right. Cinematic experience does not 
not only talking about the picture quality, right? The sound also very important. Mm -hmm. An immersive sound is very essential to the uh, how to say to the truly captivating entertainment, right? So unlike other projector who only mention the lumens, contrast, or the color saturation, of course we did this. Or we also care about this. We also provide the high picture quality, but we want to provide more to our users, right? So we choose JBL, which we provide the uh, best in class of the quality of the sound speaker. And also we work directly with the JBL Golden Ear team to deeply customize the whole system. We leverage 23 artistic and professional procedure to, concern, uh, to control the sound quality. And we also uh, invite ten, more than 10 uh, GBL experts in the Golden Year project mm -hmm. to find you the, all the details of the quality. And on top of this, we do think that if we really want to have a cinematic experience for our user, we need a sample right? right? We need to provide very strong, fast environment. So for that, we provide the K3 Pro version. And you can feel that with the uh, subwoofer, the sound effect is totally different, right? Uh, in our event, we leverage the professional big uh, system in that hall, right? And we also only leverage the K3 Pro system. Right. We can barely feel the difference. It's almost pro provide the same level, the, the sound quality. That's really very impressive to every user. Every user, every people coming to our booth, the first world must be wow, wow, yeah. That's something I want to bring to the industry. Well, uh, talking about the industry, I'm actually talking about your models. Now, at your presentation, the press, we were a bit shocked at two models. Your entry-level model, yep. which at that price point is very, very impressive. Yep. And your high-level model, which has a lot of features, <laughs> yep. but the price point is also very, very impressive. Now, explain those two products and why did you develop them? Yep. So, um, actually, we could sell more expensive, but we don't want to. Why? Because currently, some countries, the industry of projector is still new. The market still needs to be educated, right? The people, while they see projector, their first mindset is talking about, is thinking about the office scenario, right? So I'd like to be the pioneer in the projector to give some good product with very affordable price. Let the massive of the user could have the chance to try out our products. That's the reason, talking about the entry level price point, we are almost equipped to the top level of the spec as our major competitor. Yeah, some competitor, even they say that they have 1,000 NC lumens, but their actual lumen is only like 500. Our 700 NC lumens definitely could beat them easily. And also we have the GBL speaker, we have the Google dongle, we have the very lovely design, we have a lot of intelligent software functions. Everything we want to do is we want to educate and we want to give more chance for the massive of the group of people to try out our products and getting the adoption rate of projector more stronger in the market. And talking about the flagship, yeah. Again, I do think that we want to provide the best in class the product, but we don't want to make that only for the, a small percent of the people, right? The massive people should have the chance to test it out. And the people talk to people just like you guys, right? You see Yara, you are very impressive. And you talk to your friends, come to our booth. Right. We want to have this kind of same thing happening in the user group. Yeah. What about your the, the top of line? Because when you said the price for that top line projector, I remember everyone said, everyone said, wow, and there was a gasp <laughs> during the uh, press conference. What is special about that, that top of the line product you have? You mean top model or? Yeah, the top model you have. You introduced it, the, uh, I think it was the brown one uh, that's outside right now. The K3? Yeah, the K3, thank you. Yeah, 
Yeah, the, the, the P3. Yeah, the price point, right? Yeah, well, the price point is impressive, like I said before. But what features does it have that, that okay, that make it top of the line? Yeah. So talking about the features, actually, we combine everything that we yes. need for the users. We don't like the other projectors, only talking about the movements, only talking about the brightness, the uh, color saturation. Indeed, that's important, and we do a very good job there. We provide 1,600 IC lumens, which is very strong in the home environment, right. and even workable for some office projector. But we also, we think more about the other specs that are also important to the user. For example, the content, right? The Google TV, we provide more than 7,000 free apps. Unlike other projectors, they, even they claim that they need to have the Google TV inside the product. But actually, it's not mature for that system. A lot of customers that purchase the Progress project from other branding complain that they cannot leverage Netflix or they cannot upgrade some uh, apps, download some apps. Right. The, the, the major reason is that the system to the projector this category is not fully mature. Right. Google didn't enable that category. That's the major reason that we choose a Google dong dongle because dongle, this, this kind of the ecosystem, is 100% mature. That everything in the Google dongle is licensed and uh, without any trouble. We leverage this to ensure the experience for the user, right? And meanwhile, talking about the sound system, right? Again, sound is immersion. Uh, is very essential to the user who wants a truly captivating entertainment. And we build everything there to have the user truly to feel that they are just in the uh, cinematic environment. Yeah, with all of this, with all of this, we can really say that with the Yammer projector, we truly to move the cinema into their living room. Let me ask you something too, uh, another question. Oh, you said you can take the Yammer outside. Yeah. Is it, it's not waterproof, is it? <laughs> if I use it outside, I mean, what precautions do I have to take when I take it outside, for example? If I take it onto my terrace or if I take it to the park and use it on the sheet? Yeah, so I is think that that's, uh, yeah, so this, so when we say this is an outdoor product, yeah. it not means that it's like a, uh, a uh, military watch <laughs> you can use right. it to climb don't use, use it at all. No, you don't need that. That's for the outdoor uh, casual, right? right? You have the your friends sitting around. When you're sitting around in the outdoor, when yeah. there is raining, right? You, you have an umbrella or yeah. you have a camping, right? You don't <laughs> just <laughs> So, as long as you feel comfortable, that environment could suit for a projector. Okay. So, again, I, I would say this product even we claim the outdoor means that in a comfortable outdoor scenario together with your friends. And in that scenario, it's totally fine, right? Right. There is campaign, there is an umbrella, and for the projection, it's okay. Ah, it's okay. Just, so that's all we need to know. Yeah. Uh, when is this projector going to be on the market? Uh, this one, actually, already. Yeah. For K3 and K3 Pro, the targeting timeline is November. Uh -huh. November, we do have... Uh, yeah, we do have some different sorts. Yeah, for some uh, markets, we provide K3 and some markets right. for K3 Pro, which means that we do have a very strong uh, pricing control. We don't want to the Amazon and the other offline channels to compete with the pricing each other. So right. we make a very dedicated direct skew for each channel to product. Right. Yeah. Okay. And what was the price again? The, the pricing, the true version, for uh, K3, it's uh, 599 euros, right. and for K3 Pro, which is equipped with a subwoofer, only 50 euros more, which is 649. And what was the price of the entry level model? Three, uh, 239 for the yeah, 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 yeah. That's a really good price for a projector. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.